Hi, I'm trying to work, but it's so pretty here. I just keep thinking instead. So I went, I've been thinking a lot lately. I wanted to talk to you guys about um, gratitude. I feel like a lot of people are stuck. And I don't mean stuck in this challenge um, or struggling in this challenge. I mean, like struggling in our lives. Um, you know, I get to see so many different kinds of people from different walks of life. And there, there is this uniting front that we're all working really hard and maybe feeling a little unsatisfied. Um, maybe feeling like we're settling a little bit. Maybe feeling like there's more out there than what we have been able to um, achieve or feel in our own lives. And I don't know if you guys know my story. I'm sure some people do. Um, in a nutshell, I've had um, eight big surgeries now in six years. So I, I've just had to come back over and over from nothing and um, like dealt with pain meds a lot and how it's so much easier to just medicate and sit on the couch and not feel anything and not deal with um, the pain and having to push through that and not deal with having to make myself stronger mentally. Man, it's just easier to sit on the couch and do nothing. Um, so there was that and then I moved out last January um, from my husband of 16 years and then our divorce was finally finished um, February of this year and I had moved out right when I opened the gym. Literally same timeline um, and then I um, really struggled with the business and almost lost the business. Hi puppy. There's a dog here. <laughs> You're fine. So I almost lost the business. Um, so I, yeah, I feel like I've been kicked a lot and kind of um, had mass amounts of struggle. And I don't tell you that to say that um, my struggles are more than anybody else's. I tell you that because I want to acknowledge that all of us have struggles. And you know, I, I hear about these struggles from you guys and from many of other members daily. Um, reasons why the, the food isn't working out or the I can't get in because of X, Y, Z, a million struggles. Um, and we all have it, man. And we're all sinking a little bit um, and you know we get we get one life and I, I think gratitude is the only answer to um, how we lift ourselves up when we otherwise would sink we, we have two choices one is sink sit on the couch take the pain meds not deal not feel or rise up above it right there there's no third option it's like a you stop or you go um, and I think that being extraordinarily grateful is how we keep going when when things are tough and things are always tough I, I think at this point in my life I've started to realize that is life um, and connecting with what we're grateful for and I mean genuinely grateful for is really the only way to get above what's tough and still feel like there's a worthwhile reason to keep moving forward. Um, I was having this conversation with my kids yesterday about 9-11 and you know, what it meant, what it was and um, we came to the conclusion together that none of those people knew that um, that was their last moment on earth and not to be morbid here you guys but like that could happen to anyone at any time could be your last moment I'm stuck here right now in Vail because there was a giant accident on Vail Pass and the road is closed um, and that could have been me it could be anyone it could be you watching this and if truly one second from now I was going to be gone from the world and never be here to experience anything again I would not want my last second to be focused on the shit that already happened that bothered me that wrecked my life or made things difficult or got me stuck or like all the fucking reasons why like progress hasn't been where I wanted it to be and I'm not like, like I wouldn't want to be complaining if right now was my last second, I would want to be looking around in amazement at like the the fall colors and the creek and um, enjoying this moment, um, being grateful for this one moment. I wouldn't want to be thinking about, well, what happens if my business doesn't work right? And what happens if my kid fails out of middle school? And what happens if my ex-husband doesn't get happy again? You know, like all this like, Oh my gosh there's so much shit um, 
and it just spins you so quickly and we totally lose sight of like right now this one moment is the only one that we have and all of us who are struggling in some way or another which I'm convinced at this point is all of us the the way out of the struggle is to let go of what has already happened it happened that we can't do anything about it um, it's not your story anymore because that was yesterday's story it's not your story from an hour ago because that was an hour ago's story all we really really have is like this 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 one minute right now and that's like people are looking at me now you guys yeah, <laughs> yeah all, all we have is right now and and the gratitude for what you're experiencing in this very second even if it's something super small like um, who has traveled to other countries and seen no running water or um, kids living on garbage heaps and trying to find food that way um, I've seen that stuff where I've traveled and God okay you have a sink full of dishes and you're overwhelmed with your fucking sink full of dishes let's turn that around I am so grateful I have dishes to wash I'm so grateful I have water to wash those dishes with I'm so grateful I have food to put on these dishes to make them dirty like we got to connect with that or we're gonna keep on struggling like there's no end to this cycle if we don't connect with really true gratitude for what is happening right now in our life and um, you know I, I just feel like I have been struggling so much lately as well with injuries and um, emotional shit with divorce and I need to get back to that connection too of like right now being the most important and what I'm like so blessed to have and and not just material like so blessed to have two legs that kind of shit like okay one of them hurts but I still have both of them and that's pretty cool um, and we all just we got to get there so I really encourage you guys like one minute gratitude challenge every day for just a week start with a week start small get a piece of paper get a little journal write down for one minute things that you are grateful for and do that 